So from the Channel Tunnel, uh, I was employed by Hochtief, a big German contractor, and sent to South Africa to the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. Uh, I was part of the, the, the designing of the tunnel boring machine, the specification of it, uh, where it was the supplier, a German TBM supplier, a telescopic shielded machine, very similar in principle to the machines what we used in the channel tunnel. So I could use a lot of the, the ideas what we, we realized of how to do better and the whole machine was designed in such a way that we had to build three rings an hour, for, for, uh, which is quite a high speed in, in, in ring building machines. Uh, we never achieved uh, uh, the three rings an hour, but I have to say that uh, the best shift what we ever had was 29 rings in a, in a 12 hour shift, which is not, not a small affair. And eventually in the last three kilometers of that drive from kilometer eight to 11, uh, we were averaging more than one kilometer a month with that machine. So it was excellent result. And we managed to, uh, finished the tunnels quite a few months earlier than planned. And normally tunnel, tunneling projects only make money if you finish early. If you are late, you start losing money, as simple as that. There was another interesting aspect of it. Uh, we developed there, with, together with Zed, who was the, the supplier of the, the steering system for tunnel boring machines, an automatic control system to run the TBM automatically. And everybody told me it was impossible and it doesn't work. And, Eventually, I, I managed to convince the Hochtief management that we should spend that sort of money. But Zed was asking for this black box. And then it worked and it was running the machine for 19 kilometers with such a precision that humans cannot achieve. And it was in 92 to 95. And the level of, I had to explain why I wanted an enormous 80 megabyte hard drive on a computer. I had to write letters to the management to get it. So the level of computing was much, much lower than now. Uh, I have a reason why I'm saying it, because now we are developing the, the same thing on the machines in Kuala Lumpur, and it is successful. My, my young lads have written a program which uh, steers the machine and keeps uh, two TBMs now within uh, plus minus two millimeters of the tunnel axis. So it is wonderful. Again, it is a success and uh, I hope that uh, TBM manufacturers will be interested in, in uh, actually using it because it can help a lot of uh, contractors in, in, in this business. So, I finished the job in Lesotho. Octave transferred me straight away to the Athens Metro.